Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ted, and um, today I'm bringing you in a pretty cool gameplay actually. It's an Akimbo Scorpion Moab, and um, I do die unfortunately there off in the beginning. And I also pick up one MP7 kill just to get a 10,000 XP challenge. I was one kill off, and I wanted to make sure I got it at the beginning of the round. But um, basically, I was trying to do a lot of challenges, and one of the challenges was this MP7 challenge coming up where I get 10,000 XP. And then I was also a few kills off of like a, a 3,000 XP challenge for my Akimbo Scorpions. So I wanted to make sure that I got that challenge, and in the process I ended up just um, getting a, a, an Akembo Scorpion Moab. And um, I like when, when things like that work out, so I, like, I try to go for these you know, secondary uh, challenges. And um, the secondary guns give you quite a bit of XP, actually. And um, they're not too hard to use either. And let me see right there, I pick up my 10,000 XP challenges, switch to my Akembo uh, Scorpions, and then for the rest of the game I'm using these Akembo uh, Scorpions. And I was going, like I said, I was going for a small challenge, I ended up getting a, a Moab in the process, which always works out well for me. Um, gives me even more experience. And I've been ranking up like a monster recently. Um, I've been trying so hard just to keep ranking up my character. I've been trying so hard to get to se uh, 15th prestige. And yesterday I started at level 70 and got to level 80 and then I had to go um, right before I got to prestige. I was basically like halfway through level 80 and if you don't already know, when you get to level 80 you still have to do about 45,000 experience before you get to the ability to prestige. And um, I'm going to make a video on 15th Prestige, and um, I'm going to do a lot more in depth this time. It's going to be a lot of my creative classes, um, as well as my leaderboard ranks. I'm also going to break down my average number of hours to Prestige. I think it's something like I average uh, like 12 or 13 hours to a Prestige if I calculated it out correctly before. And um, expect a video on that probably tomorrow, uh, maybe later on tonight if I get around to uh, Prestiging tonight. But I just got home from work, and um, I, I was working out at Kiowa today, actually for my dad, not out at the beach today. But um, I've been trying recently to give up like fast food and give up this, you know, these greasy foods and all. Um, it's a long and complicated story, but basically my mom decided that she's no longer going to eat these foods. And I tried to just go into it with her, and we were starting to eat more like turkey and healthy things like that. Um, really trying to cut down on the number of times we got to fast food. To put it in perspective, like I haven't been to fast food but maybe like once this week. Whereas on a typical week before, um, you know, in a typical week, I'd say last year, I'd go to fast food uh, probably 10 times a week. I mean, between McDonald's and Chick-fil-A, which are, Chick-fil-A is the less common common uh, fast food place. I know some people don't have them where they live, but Chick-fil-A is basically like a fast food place where you get uh, pretty good chicken sandwiches and um, good, good waffle fries as well. But those are like my two favorite restaurants, and between my friends always going to fast food and always, you know, inviting me to go with them, and my parents just not liking to cook while always going out to fast food, I'd eat so much fast food throughout the day that it was ridiculous. I mean, I, I remember uh, several times throughout a week eating fast food three times a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and um, I know it's not healthy for me, and I'm trying to cut back on that. But it's funny, like today I was, I was working for like, like, I guess nine hours straight, and I was getting like super hungry, and the whole time I'm thinking, you know, like I could totally use a cheeseburger right now like that'd just be the, the thing to like top off my day finish work and go ahead to McDonald's and grab some some good food and um, I tried to I actually resisted the temptation today I did not go to McDonald's so I came home and I ate a turkey sandwich so I'm doing well um, I'm trying to you know like I said eat these less less uh, fatty foods they're not good for me and I've really been trying to hold back on that I, mean, I don't want to be the typical American the typical American just goes out and you know eats fast food three times a day and although I'd love to do that, I'm going to try not to. So uh, hopefully I can, I can keep this resolution going through. Um, we're going to have to see how it holds up for me. I still play so many video games, and it's, that's the other huge thing. Is like I don't actually exercise very much. I don't get a lot of that, uh, that physical exercise, that cardio that I need to get, and that I should be getting if I'm eating these fatty foods. Since I only play video games, I really need to be cutting back on the number of calories that I intake because I really don't burn too many calories. I mean, honestly, how many calories do you burn by holding a controller? My thumbs are pretty strong from all those joystick movements, but I mean, besides that, I'm not really burning, you know, hefty calories over here. I'm, I'm just burning, you know, the average idle number of calories that you burn throughout a day. And um, I've really been trying to fix up my diet recently, and I suggest it to you guys too. Um, I honestly feel a lot better. I, I feel less out of breath, and I'm not fat by any means or whatsoever, but um, I, I do generally feel out of breath whenever I run around for a little bit and if I'm having a pretty crazy day. But anymore, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. And um, eating less fatty foods in general, it saves me money too because I don't have to go buy the fast food every day. It also makes me feel good because I'm, I'm feeling like I'm not, you know, indulging too much in my body and giving my body all these fatty, nasty foods. So anyway, I thought I'd share that. Um, the final score of this gameplay was 30 to 1. I got my Moab right there and then I picked up this last final kill. Hope you guys enjoy this gameplay and commentary. I actually pick up the Akimbo Scorpion Challenge here at the very, very end. So I ended up getting all my XP that I needed. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. If you're new to my channel, as always, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.